Many mothers who call a breastfeeding clinic or lactation consultant are at their wits end and are unaware of the possibility of tongue tie. They should be seen within a day or two to prevent the downward spiral of breastfeeding problems. Every baby needs a full oral examination. If a frenulum is present, is compromising tongue function and deemed to be the underlying cause of the difficulties, the phrenotomy should be done as soon as possible, quite often at the same visit. We've been having some problems in the last two months. He's been waking up, I'd say, every 30 minutes to an hour and a half um, wanting to eat and doesn't seem to stay on my breast for very long. Um, he seems to get tired, really worn out, and sort of give up after, after I'd say, five to seven minutes. That's his, that's his maximum time. Um, after that, he actually usually just falls right asleep. He was given the bottle um, of formula and was able to drink it probably because he was getting a lot more, a lot more flow that way because it was a lot easier for him to drink out of. But um, yeah, it, it's been it's been taking him off the growth curve now because he went from being in the 50th percentile down to the. Um, I think down ten, and he's very tall, so it's uh, it's not it's not equal to his height anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it's been very exhausting. It has been very yeah. exhausting. <laughs> so, um, and now we've just found he has a tongue tie. Yes. Um, <laughs> what, how do you think that might have affected? Um, I'm just a little frustrated because in the hospital they said that he had a little bit of one, but they also said that. It wouldn't. It wasn't a you know a relevant enough tongue tie. I guess I would say yeah. for them to do anything about it. So I'm a little bit disappointed because I think in these last few months he could have had more milk, and I think maybe my supply would have went down a little bit in the last few months because he hasn't been able to take what he could have been getting. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, we'll do everything to turn it around <laughs> and get things to get better, but it has been hard go. It has been. Yes. The lack of sleep has really done me. <laughs> yes. Yes. And I feel we bad for him, you know. I've always wondered why he wasn't getting chubbier. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. And I assumed that when he was born, they would give him to me and he would latch on right away and we would breastfeed and it would be for the next couple of years of his life. And it wasn't so easy. So when they said that first time that I would have to supplement with formula, I was kind of devastated about that right away. And him being so early, um, with my milk not coming in, I've had to do formula for almost a week now, which yes. I didn't think I'd have to do. And now with the milk just coming in, um, he's still not latching very well. So I wanted to get in as soon as I could to get this done so he can get latching right away. Right. right? Yeah. As soon as I try to put him on the breast, um, he tries to latch, he opens up, and then he comes down, and he might suck for two seconds. And then I think because of the, the sort of trying in the jaw, or trying in his mouth, he goes right to sleep. No. Comatose. Oh. And so that is a real struggle because yes. I can't even keep him awake to try and suck, right? right. One of the other nurses said there was already damage to the nipple from the oh. first latch, and I was like, really? So it was just very confusing for us. We weren't 100% yeah. we sure what we were doing. We used shield. Uh, I had the consultant worked with, we tried positioning and everything, but after a while we stopped because it was, it was such a stress on his body that the sugars kept going low, so we stopped with even just trying to get him to latch on in, in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And then we revisited when we got home, but we were just very scared of, um, of low blood sugar oh. and having a seizure, so we just made the decision. It's not working. Um, You've had the sore nipples for how long? Oh, pretty much since he was born. I just. Uh, <laughs> kind of sucked it up and uh, my other two children were tongue tied oh, so yes. I kind of knew that he was but the pediatrician didn't think that bad and then um, yeah it's just consistent pain they put her on my breast and she just visibly didn't want to go she would throw her head back and scream and um, it was upsetting to me because uh, I could tell she didn't she didn't want to she wasn't ready um, so it was an emotional night for all of us and um, when we took her home she would you know her head would bob around my breast when I would try and she just she just wouldn't actually suck right, right. so she hadn't really sucked at the breast for the six days You've made an eight-hour drive through Canada's winter weather mm -hmm. to get here. 
How come? Um, when Benjamin was born, we were told he had a good suck and a good latch and everything. And my nipples were in nice shape for breastfeeding, so we thought everything was going well. Yes. And then he refused to gain weight, and he started out at 8 pounds, 12 ounces, and he eventually got down to 7 pounds, 10 ounces. Long story short, got me contacted with someone in New York who is an expert latcher of babies. She works through tough situations, and so she Skyped with us, saw that he had likely had posterior tongue tie, which I'd never heard of before, and I ended up finding your name. So we contacted you and you saw us and we wanted a lot of issues resolved, maybe increased breast milk supply, um, less fussiness at the breast, um, maybe resolve some of his digestive issues. He seemed very gassy and he didn't sleep well and I, from what I had quickly researched that all could be a result of posterior tongue tie. Although his tongue looks fine to us, we're used to that front tongue tie and um, we just thought it was worth the drive and so yeah. thank you for seeing us. Oh, my pleasure. Frequently, parents are surprised their baby is tongue-tied, either because they have not heard of it or because they have been told otherwise. Usually, they are relieved that there is a concrete reason for their difficulties and that it can be immediately corrected. Many mothers have felt like a failure as they have expected breastfeeding to be easy and natural. Now, something simple can be done to provide them relief and help their baby thrive.